What we want to look at here in this video is the pen tool. The pen tool. Um, to this point, we've primarily used the shape tools, but what we want to do is look at the pen tool. And uh, as with many of the other tools, there are several versions or variations on the pen tool, and we'll talk about all of those. We have the basic pen tool, and then we have the um, add and anchor point um, tool. We can remove uh, or simplify um, a shape by removing some uh, anchor points. And then uh, you, of course, have already seen and been introduced to the Convert Direction tool. So we're going to focus on the basic pen tool here. Um, sure, sure, a lot of times we will um, create shapes with the shape tool, as we've already done in the past. But generally, for more complex things, uh, you uh, want to become comfortable with the pen tool. And it creates those anchor points, and that they will be joined uh, to create curves is standard what you've already been learning um, to this point. So uh, let's uh, uh, take a look at what we've got here. The pen tool, when you want um, angles and straight lines, you simply click, go to another place, click, click, click. Remember, always come back and close your shape. Remember, you can see that you're about to close it. You see that little circle that comes up next to the tool. So we click it and we have a closed shape. If we want to um, have straight lines and uh, as we've talked about already with the shift key we can have straight lines uh, between our anchor points and again I will click, I will hold the mouse go someplace else, click. Again, I'm still holding um, my shift key. I think I said the mouse a second ago. I meant the shift key. I come over and again, the shift key, and the only one that's not automatically going to be um, straight, perfectly straight, is when we come back up uh, to close the shape. Even if it's slightly angled, it's going to do that. But there again, click, 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 click back, close the shape, and we're going to have straight straight lines and angles. Now, with the pen tool, if we work it just a little bit differently, we'll get curves with handlebars. And the way we do that is I click, but I hold the mouse momentarily, and notice um, you hold the mouse and drag, just a little bit, and you notice the handlebars pop up. So um, notice also that I'm not clicking and dragging them way out to create really dramatic angles. I'm just clicking and dragging just enough so that I will get a curve. Remember that what you generally want to do is rough in your shapes, and then you come back and fine tune them. So um, that's how I create my curves again. I click, I, um, I click and hold my mouse, drag a little bit, go to the next place, click and drag, click and drag, come back and close it, click and drag. Okay? And it's really uh, very simple. And then at that point, of course, with um, um, curves and our handlebars, then we can come in and, of course, start manipulating the handlebars and fine-tuning the shape and um, if we want to uh, we can uh, go to our convert direction tool and make the handlebars independent again go back to the white arrow and we're off and running okay so that's how you create your basic uh, shapes with the pen tool again one more time um, we um, we can Get that tool to pop up there. Okay. Click, 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 click. Straight lines, angles. Hold the shift key to get perfectly straight lines. Click, 
click and hold the mouse and drag slightly to create your curves with your handlebars. Okay. Then we um, talked about, um, I mentioned at the beginning here, we've got these other variations on the pen tool. Okay. And so we'll look at these, adding and deleting an anchor point. Here, um, uh, with this tool, we can come to any existing shape. And you see, I'm adding anchor points. And uh, you can see, there it is. Just added that one. I have one over here that I just added. So um, it's as simple as that to add anchor points to an existing shape. Of course, you got to get right on the shape. If you kind of miss it, you see you'll get this kind of a uh, error message. So you need to get right on it with the crosshair. And there you see that I've just added um, some more anchor points, okay? Again, you got to get right on it. There you are. And then we can manipulate those. By the same token, we can use the next pen tool, which is to remove uh, anchor points and to simplify our shapes. And here, for instance, right there is an existing one. Boom, you see I removed it. Remove that one. And I'll come over and remove that one. So uh, we can do it either way, remove or add anchor points very quickly and very easily. And then once again, um, we can start manipulating our handlebars. We can use our convert direction tool to make the handlebars independent. And we can use our convert direction tool to make curves, which is what this is, into an angle. And an angle, click and hold it, back into a curve that, of course, has handlebars. And that's pretty much all there is to the pen tool.